Hello, I'm Lauren Molander from Sanford Abroad. Today, I'm going to walk you through the process of applying for a Sanford Abroad program. First, I'll orient you to the abroad.sanford.edu website. Next, we'll talk about the application process and how it differs by programs. And I'll conclude with upcoming dates, such as the timeline when you can expect to hear back on whether you've been accepted. There are many ways to explore our homepage. You can click the Explore button here and be taken to a pro program exploration page. You can also see here that our programs are organized by term, with May and summer of 2025 here, fall here, and affiliate programs here as they go in all terms of the year. You can also scroll down to the search programs feature here. Before we apply for a program together, I want to point out the Is Studying Abroad For Me area. We believe that this experience is for everyone, and we want to help you with more resources that might give you the information you need to be successful. Please consider clicking on these resource guides to get you the information that you need. If we return to the home page, let's go ahead and click the Explore button. If you've been here before, there may be some previously viewed programs here or some feature programs here. If you have a specific discipline, location, or you even know a program name, you can go ahead and type it in the search bar. I'm going to type in communication as I am a communications major. This interstellar communication main term program looks intriguing to me, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it. This takes you to the program brochure for this specific program. At the top, you can see the application season for this program, as well as general information down here below about things like tentative dates, info sessions that will be scheduled for this specific program, the course, the number of credits, the learning objectives, your itinerary, as well as costs and funding opportunities. This gives you a general idea of what the costs are going to be, but these are subject to change. Next, we have an application process section. Be sure to speak with your academic advisor to see how this program will fit into your overall degree plan. There are also peer advisors and the Sanford Abroad advisor available to discuss the program with you and answer any questions you may have. Also, be sure that you are sharing all information with your family members who will be involved or impacted. It is your responsibility to communicate with them during this experience. We highly suggest applying early for any of our study abroad programs as they are very competitive. The sooner you apply, the more you increase the likelihood of being accepted. There are a few phases to the application process, each with different agreements and waivers you'll have to sign. Also, please consider enrolling in our Passport to Sanford Abroad Canvas course for more detailed information. One thing to strongly emphasize now is the importance of your passport. This is a vital piece of any study abroad experience. If you already have a passport, make sure it is valid for at least six months after the end of the program. It if, expi if it expires before then, please renew now. If you do not have a passport, apply for one now as you cannot wait until you're accepted into a program to begin this process. You must have a passport by the commitment date, which I will speak about more in a moment. Let's work on an application together using this Apply Now button. If you've been exploring our website without being logged in, you will need to log in first after clicking the Apply Now button. It will ask you to log in as a Sanford or non-Sanford user and log in accordingly. You will then select the term, which in this case is May 2025, and click Continue. Now we have started an application for the Interstellar Communication Program. There are instructions at the top here and a Get Started button. Clicking that will open each requirement you need to complete. 
Make sure you read each agreement before clicking the Sign button. Once you click Sign or follow the instructions, a green check mark will appear here beside that requirement and you will move on to the next. Some of them are questionnaires that require you to answer a simple question before clicking Done. There is a $200 application fee, so make sure you read the conditions for that agreement specifically. Some applications require a faculty member's recommendation. You can simply enter their name or Stanford email address, indicate the recommender, and click Send Request. This will send a request directly to that faculty or staff member for them to upload the recommendation to your Sanford Abroad portal. After completing all the requirements, the Submit Application window will pop up and you need to click Submit Your Application to finalize the process. If you do not click this button, you will not receive the timestamp that shows when your application was submitted. Now I completed that application in one sitting, but just know that if you need to stop the application and return to finish it later, you can do that by logging out of our website. When you log in the next time, you will go to your applicant home and see the application that you've already started. You can see that this circle is complete, but it would not be closed if you were still in the middle of that application. Know that application requirements can vary by program and term. For example, if you were applying for Sanford in Spain, one of our language immersion programs, you would have additional questionnaires that would ask your length of stay and how many credits you are attempting. Our Sanford and London program requires both a faculty recommendation and a personal essay, so those applications may not be able to be completed in one sitting. Once you've submitted your application, what happens next? Applications close on midnight December 5th, and then our office will be in the process of application review. Please review the application fee agreement located in your application portal for more information regarding when and how the $200 fee will be assessed. You can return to your application by simply clicking on the program in your applicant home where you can read all the requirements and agreements anytime. In January, you will receive a notification via your Sanford email with an updated application status. If you have been accepted, you will have a two-week window to commit to the program at which time you will need to submit your passport information. Please note that signing the passport agreement at the time of application means you agree to have a valid passport with at least six months validity after the program end date in hand at the time of acceptance. Again, this means if you do not have a passport or need to renew it, you must begin that process now. We refer to the deadline to accept and commit to a program as the commitment date. This date and next steps will be communicated to you in the acceptance email you receive. During the spring semester, there will be several pre-departure orientations that take place to prepare you for your program abroad. We'll talk then about airfare, visa applications, internship placements, and more as it applies to you and your specific program. With any questions, please email abroad at samford.edu. I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.